guys, it's Lucy and today I'm trying out Primark's workout range. If you've been to my channel before, hello you, come on in, take a seat, you know what to do. And if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Lucy, I'm on a running and weight loss journey. I started my journey way back in February 2020, at a time when I was desperate to lose weight. I weighed 230 pounds, I couldn't run for more than 30 seconds. My dream was to be able to run for miles and miles and maybe even one day complete a marathon. I looked all over the internet for that one person who was relatable, been there, done that, got through it and was absolutely smashing it. Because I couldn't find that relatable runner and I had got to that place that I didn't think was possible I decided to become that person I decided to make the videos that I needed to see way back then so if this is the kind of content you are in need of at this moment then come on in hit that subscribe button you are welcome on any of my runs with me but anyway let's get on into this so one of the things that used to stop me running right in the very beginning was not having the correct kit I didn't want to spend money on workout clothes or trainers or anything because one I didn't really know what exactly I needed to get. And two, I want to spend money on something I wasn't sure I was going to actually stick at. But what I used to do was I'd go to the sports stores and I would just pick out whatever they had available in the cheapest thing in the biggest size. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, the biggest size was still too small for me, which really did dishearten me. It might seem like a silly problem to you in yourself, like, oh, I haven't got the right things to wear. But honestly, I feel like if you feel good in what you're wearing and if it's comfortable, you're gonna do better. Some places are charging like 40, 50 pounds just for a pair of leggings. And yes, they might be amazing and they might, they might enhance your workout, but they're still just one pair. <laughs> so what I've decided to do is I'm gonna try out some of Primark's workout range. What I did was I headed down to Primark to have a look and see what they've got. Now because it's November at the time of recording this, there wasn't a lot of active wear available, there wasn't a lot of options, but they bring up more choices, more options during the new year because that's when people tend to ramp up their exercise. So I went ahead and I had a look through, I rummaged through quite a lot of it and there was a few bits that I wasn't that keen on, you know like the crop stuff, that's not really me, but I went ahead and I picked out this. I went for a sleeveless black breathable top. Now having a look at the sizes in the workout range, it was it, it looked like it was going to come out small. A lot of it looked quite small for what it was labelled. I went ahead and got a size large in this top. It costs £3. £3 for a running top. The material is light and it looks just like most of my running tops. That's really what drew me to it was the material. Now, I'm actually going to be wearing something I already had, but it was from Primark, so hear me out. I didn't purchase this on the day, but I did find some similar ones. It's a sports bra. The, the ones that I saw were five pounds. I believe that I purchased my Primark running sports bras. This is the one that I'll be using. I think I paid about two pounds for it, so I must have got that in the sale. <laughs> I can vouch for these, they're so cheap. My trick is get it in a, the smallest size that you can squeeze yourself in, then it really is a true sports bra. Lastly, I had a look through the leggings and there was a pair of leggings that had like this print on and it looked really nice and it had the waistband that I like. But the problem with those ones were um, when I picked them up, because I was going to get them, the bottom of the leggings, they weren't tight, they were flared and yeah, I can't run in flared leggings. <laughs> I just think that would just look that would just look silly. I don't think I could do that. I couldn't pull that off. So I went ahead and I got these leggings. Now what I liked about these leggings were the fabric felt a lot more gym wear. It looked a lot more breathable and comfortable to actually work out in. A lot of the other fabrics they didn't really feel breathable and comfortable whereas on these ones the fabric is stretchy and it feels like it's going to be good for running and it also has that band that I like that hopefully is going to suck me in <laughs> and at the bottoms um, as I was saying earlier these ones the pattern all goes all the way down the leg and these ones are tight on the ankle so they're not flared so these are the ones I went for I went for an extra large in these ones which I'm surprised these look very small for an extra large and normally I run in Gymshark leggings and I purchase a medium I got them in an extra large and I paid eight pounds for them I mean eight pounds Ideal, I would be more than happy to pay £8 for a, a nice pair, a comfortable pair of running leggings. 
but the test is will they stay up will they be comfortable and what is it like to run in them in all in all of it what is it like put all of these on i'll show you what it looks like and i'm gonna head out for a run so i hope you're gonna be able to see this properly but this is the top i am really happy with this top it's so comfortable it it looked small but it actually fits quite nice so i hope you can see but this is how much space i've got it fits really comfy loads of room oh hello you storm's joining in so i'm really happy with the top so far the leggings on the other hand if you see they go they they go up look how high that is and it's not that tight as well i would like it tighter the legs feel like they fit nicely here but around the ankles they're quite loose around the ankles so i'm going to be putting my long socks on which to be fair i would do that anyway normally if it's a cold day so yeah this is the final look let's go running it like not even a mile i'm like just a few minutes in to be honest and the top it feels great already these leggings are hell <laughs> this is why i've stopped already not even a mile in i think i got about one minute in and i needed to pull them up <laughs> so i've been running along like yanking up my leggings the problem i've got is it's the waistband there's a lot of it and it's loose and yeah i probably could have got a size down but if i did do that the waistband might be okay but the legs would be too small. So, yeah, the sizing for the leggings, I wouldn't rate it. I don't rate it. I mean, they're comfortable and they're lovely. I will definitely be wearing them around the house, that's for sure. But running, no. I'm such an advocate for Gymshark leggings and like, but they work, they've worked for me. And as soon as I put a pair on and I ran in them, even the shorts, like the ones with the thick waistbands, as soon as I put them on and I ran with them, there's no going back. I, I have tried other leggings as well since, and they're just not the same. They're just not the same. And I'm not willing to try, you know, the even more expensive brands that are out there because I found what I like and I can get them on a sale when they pop up. To be fair, Gymshark started their Black Friday sale on the 17th of November. So if you are thinking about having a look at what they do and now might be a good time because I only recommend buying in the sale don't pay full price <laughs> obviously this is not an ad Gymshark have no idea who I am they have they don't care about me whatsoever <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna keep trotting along uh, I don't think I'm gonna change my mind on these leggings I keep doing the shuffle so right let's keep going <laughs> So I'm back now and I ended up doing a mile and a half in total on today's run. I felt really strong. I, I don't know what's wrong with me or what's right with me. <laughs> but anyway, with the outfit, honestly, this top, this top. If you want a nice running top for the summer or if you've got a, a top you can have underneath it, get yourself this three pound top it's so good some of the problems with some running tops are like if they're tight and you're running like they ride up and they end up around my waist on the smallest part of my waist and they just sit there i don't really like that it's not comfortable but this top didn't have to worry about that whatsoever and the great thing about this top was because my leggings were falling down it wasn't really an issue because these were staying they were covering everything they they didn't rise up they were just yeah, this top, perfect. Best three pound I've spent in a long time. So 10 out of 10 for this. The leggings, honestly, for running, I'm really not gonna give it a high score. They, they're they not running leggings, but I did think about it on my run and I did think I could literally do everything else in them. I could lounge around the house. I could get housework done. I could do some strength training in them. My dog's decided to eat. <laughs> if you can hear that, that's, that's my dog eating. <laughs> honestly because i mean eight pounds 
gonna I'm gonna give them a seven. I'm gonna give them a seven because I can do everything else in them. And my normal everyday sort of cotton leggings, I wouldn't be able to work out in those. And I could work out on these ones. So yeah, I'm gonna give them a seven out of ten. But it was that waistband. It was it was loose on the top, round the waist, and the at the bottom half of my legs. <laughs> And on, on my quads, it was great. If they if it, if it fit all over like it did on my quads, then it would be a 10 out of 10. That is my review on some of the workout range that Primark are currently doing. Maybe I'll do another one when they bring out some more in the new year. If they do, I'm assuming they will be. Let me know in the comments below, what's your favourite brand to run in or work out in? Hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. Make sure to subscribe if this is the kind of content that you need to see. I will be back with you guys very soon for an announcement video. So keep an eye out for that one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye guys.